Hello and welcome to another episode of Powell Nation Live. I'm Paul Gatter and this is the show from Powell's.com where I help you experience, explore, and connect with all things native culture. Thank you so much for being here. I normally do this show Thursday nights, 9 o'clock live. However, I am on the road, actually not on the road, I'm on a ship. We're in the middle of the Atlantic right now. We're doing a crossing from uh, Southampton, United Kingdom, back to Fort Lauderdale. So I'm sorry I'm not able to be with you. So I'm recording this from the ship because I have some really important things I want to make sure you're aware of. So before I get to the, the main topic of tonight, and that's a really special event going on uh, in Durant, Oklahoma, coming up soon, I do want to remind you that right now we are in the middle of our Explore Native Challenge. If you haven't participated in that yet, that is our annual um, contest and giveaway that um, in, um, you can enter over at powwows.com slash win. But this is the way where I challenge you to dig a little deeper into Native American culture um, through different challenges, different websites to visit, uh, different things to go and read or watch. And you can do all that, earn extra entries, and get your name in the hat for prizes. Our friends over at 8th Generation are sponsoring the contest again this year. They've provided five blankets and some jewelry and some really amazing prizes. Over at powwows.com slash win, you can find out more about those prizes and how to enter. Make sure you're entering daily. The contest lasts until December 15th. And you can look for bonus codes to get your name in the hat even more times. And I'll give you one at the end of tonight's episode. Okay, so now let's talk about the special opportunity that's going on in Durant, Oklahoma. You're probably aware, if you're not, you don't want to miss the Choctaw Powwow. Powwow. Their annual powwow takes place at the Choctaw Event Center out there in Durant, Oklahoma, and it is an incredibly well-run powwow. Lots of great specials and dancing. Uh, they get some really great drums that come in there. Uh, I really, We got to go last year, and I really enjoyed the, the Event Center. It's a great space, uh, and in of course, you can stay at the casino and have a little fun there, as well as check out some of the restaurants they have. So if you're heading to Durant for the powwow, the really cool thing I want to talk to you about is their Choctaw Cultural Day that is the Friday before the powwow starts. Last year, I got to attend this, and it is really special. One of the things I I enjoy that, that I think is really cool that we get to do when, when I travel to powwows is when we go to certain places like California or New York, and we get to see a little bit more of the local culture. I think that's really incredible to see. Not that I, you know, I love powwows and seeing all the powwow styles, but you know, you can go pretty much anywhere in the country and see great powwow dancing. When I get to see a little bit of the local tribes culture, I love that. And out in California, whether we're seeing the bird singing and bird dancing, um, or you know, we've been to New York and seen smoke dancing. Um, or up in Hunting Moon, maybe seeing the Woodland Special and some of the, the Scrub Specials. That stuff is really, really cool. And what the people of the Choctaw uh, Nation have done is they have done an entire event the Friday before, the Friday morning and Friday afternoon before the powwow starts. So it's it's really made, you get to see all types of, or all parts of the Choctaw culture. Not just the powwow, but there, and let me show you a little bit more about it. Let me flip over here to... Um, the schedule to show you just a little taste of what they're going to be doing. All right, so here is the powwow agenda. That's going to start Friday. Grand entry is going to be at uh, 7 o'clock with gourd dancing starting around 2 o'clock. But let's look at the Choctaw Festival. This takes place over at the Choctaw um, Cultural Center, which is a really great uh, world-class exhibits and some history of the Choctaw people there, as well as um, the the cafe. Cafe was fantastic. Some really cool um, traditional Choctaw dishes. We'll talk more about that in a second, but let's look at the agenda. They're going to start the day with Choctaw singing. Um, they're going to have a curated talk and uh, kind of an artist spotlight hallway so you can uh, walk through several different exhibits and talk to different artists. The stickball demonstration last year was really cool and I'm sure it's going to be great again this year. They're also going to do some traditional games. They had um, they have several tables set up in the afternoon where you can go in and see different parts of maybe beadwork uh, and other different parts of Choctaw culture and talk to some of the artists. Um, and then they're going to have some storytelling and some social dancing. So all of that taking place right there at the Choctaw Cultural Center. I'll show you some of the pictures from last year. Uh, it was a really, really special event. So here is some of the um, 
that some of the social dancing they did last year uh, was cool to, to hear the Choctaw songs get sung as well as seeing some of these traditional dances. Um, and there's the stickball demonstration. That was really cool to see. Uh, and in fact, they invited some folks out there to give it a try. Uh, it looks a lot harder, or it is a lot harder than it looks. Uh, capture, ca catching that ball with those two sticks was uh, pretty tough for a lot of people, but it was fun watching. They had some traditional Choctaw hymn singing, uh, and that's sung in the Choctaw language. That was kind of cool to see. And here's more of the stickball demonstration, more of the social dancing. Let's see. And I want to see, I think I have some pictures too of, um, here in just a second, of the food. Okay, here's a little bit more. Some Here's the photos of the exhibits they have there. Um, and I have some photos of that food I was telling you about. The cafe is really cool because they do serve traditional um, Choctaw dishes. And the prices were very reasonable. We were really surprised. So this is one of the desserts. Um, and then here's the outside of the cultural festival. Again, I think this is just an incredibly unique experience to get to see a little bit more of the of the local history, their uh, beadwork, their songs, all of that uh, in, a, in a place that you're already going if you're going to the powwow. So definitely go and check this out. I think you'll really enjoy it and it'll be one of those things you'll, you'll want to do each year. All right, so I did promise you a bonus code for today's um watching today's video. So you can head over to powwows.com slash win and enter the code 7148646 and that will give you extra entries into the Explore Native Challenge. And also be sure here is the link to find out more about the uh, Choctaw Festival. You can head over here powwows.com slash I-T-T-A-H-O-B-A -A festival and that will get you all the information you need as well as um, directions, the schedule, tickets, and all of that. And so if you're heading to Durant for the powwow, be sure to just plan a little extra early time to go check out the festival. All right, I appreciate you watching today. Thank you so much. I will be home soon and we'll get back to the normally normal scheduled um, programs. we got some interviews and some other cool things coming up, but I think what the Choctaw people are doing is a great way to kick off Native American Heritage Month right there at the beginning of November. So I hope you go check it. Out. I hope you'll go check it out, and I'll see you all soon. I hope you get to spend some time with your family this weekend, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.